section, uh, uh, last section of uh, chapter 6, Computer Graphics with Sage. Mm -hmm. Computer Graphics plays a key role in automotive design and flight simulation and game industry. For example, a three-dimensional object such as automobile and its data can be described as a matrix. If we transform the location of these points, we can redraw the transformed object from the point which are newly generated. If this transformation is linear, we can easily obtain the transformed data by matrix multiplication. Okay. In this section, we review several geometric transformations which are unique, uh, used in computer graphics. Let's see. First example. By using Sage, draw a triangle with three vertices. And then uh, we can expand this triangle twice. And the figure by a shear transformation along the x-axis with scale 1. And a triangle which is rotated counterclockwise by pi over 3. Okay? Let's see. Let's see here. First, we define a linear transformation. And, it, and then, uh, then, then, uh, we give we, we uh, give, give a specified linear transformation A, B, and C. First, expand uh, twice on the first axis, x-axis, and twice, twice on the y-axis. And the two byte matrix one one zero one is a shear transformation by one on x-axis, and on y-axis. And C, the rotation of pi over three. If we define this 3D linear transformation, first, draw a triangle, 0, 0, 1, 3, 0, 3, and 3, 0, 0, 3, and 3, 0. So connecting these three points makes a triangle, okay, triangle, and give a color inside of that triangle. Then, if we multiply a linear transformation, uh, linear transformation, then, uh, first linear transformation, then, uh, then it was expanded by twice on x-axis and twice on y-axis. Isn't it? Three goes to six and three goes to six. If we multiply a shear transformation, one, one, zero, one, then this triangle moves to on x-axis. Isn't it? By multiplying one, one, zero, one. So this triangle moves to x-axis. Okay. Shear transformation. If uh, we can uh, rotate the triangle by pi over 3, this triangle moved, rotated counterclockwise by pi over 3. So if we draw all together at once, those four graphs, original triangle, and expanded one, shear transformation and rotation, then it can be uh, shown in here. And I think that can be uh, that can be found in can be found in this uh, this address. Okay, here, mm -hmm. computer graphic here. If, if we uh, define the linear transformation, so the matrix transformation is activated now. And we define three linear transformations. One, this is uh, expansion on x-axis by two and y, uh, uh, on y-axis by two. And shear transformation B and rotation. Okay? Then we executed. Then now we draw the triangle of these three points. 0, 0, uh, 3, 0, and 0, 3. Give a color. I gave a color. RGB color on 0, 0 on here. If we do the first transformation, expansion, on x-axis and y-axis by twice, okay, then shear transformation, we, this triangle was squeezed on the x-axis like this. And 
rotation by pi over 3. Pi over 3. If we draw the all together at once, then we have this. Four triangles. Which, uh, which the three of them are generated by the linear transformation. Next. Second example shows what? Draw a alphabet letter S on the plane, then draw figure which expand the origin figure twice, shear transformation along the x-axis with the scale 1, and rotate counterclockwise by pi over 3. The, the same, thing, same thing on S. This S stands for the SKKU, initial of SKKU. That's what we made. We do use the same matrix transformation, and we define the same linear transformation A, B, and C. Then we just uh, draw the first image differently than just triangle. Now we have S with this uh, about 10 to 15 point to draw it, okay? Then the first image is what? Expanded. It was 15, but now it's 30, okay? And it was a shear transformation. It was squeezed and rotation counterclockwise by pi over 3. And this is the image which was generated. Here, I can show it the same thing. We define the same linear transformation. It was activated. Same linear transformation defined. And we just draw the different images, OK, with this. If, I, if we change this point, then we will have different images. Then here, expanded by twice on x and y axis. And shear transformation, it was squeezed. And the rotation, like pi over 3, and all together, it can be found in here. If we change the operations here, like if we define instead of this, if we have uh, instead of 3, we have 2, 2, and we have 1, and 1. And if we instead of this shear transformation, if we have more on 2, instead of pi over 3, if we have pi over 6, 6, then we will have different images here, of the original image, and as you see, shear transformation and rotation by pi over 6. Okay? Then we all together, we will have different things. So what this means is if we have the same transformation, if, we have, uh, if you have the different point and different images here, if you change this, then you can have everything. If you have your face on here, and you have uh, different linear transformations, then you will have a variation of your face, and it can be made as uh, an animation. If you draw, if you multiply the different matrices uh, with the small changes, uh, about 20 or 30, then you will have uh, 30 different images. If you put all those in top encoder in series, uh, and you make, if you make it as a uh, uh, the movie, then you will have a uh, computer scene, uh, the movie of uh, the change of your face. Okay, that all that can be done with just product of matrices and standard matrix. And these are the ones who, uh, the, the co-workers uh, that he, uh, that generated this stage mess code in origin. And he is the first, he's a uh, Stein, William Stein, who is a professor at University of Washington. And he started the work, and these are the co-workers, developers. I think that's the end of section uh, 6.5 and end of chapter 6. And we uh, will cover the problems. and. Uh, uh, we will have a midterm examination that covers from chapter 1 to chapter 6. Any questions? 
Any questions?